Okay, so I did my last round of chemo, and I am still here. Um, it's funny, my, my fuzzy hair is beginning to grow back. I didn't even notice that until just like right now. So, okay, um, I made a different video regarding, like, you know, my chemotherapy experience. But this video I'm making specifically for the coronavirus situation. So, um... I really don't get it and I don't understand like people who are defying this social is isolation thing. You know, I get it. You want to think it's a hoax, um, whatever, but the, but it is what it is. Even if let's say there was no coronavirus, this was some kind of conspiracy theory or whatever. The thing that you have to be concerned about is the government response. And this is not a criticism towards the government. This is not a criticism towards anybody. This is just saying, regardless of what the situation really is, coronavirus, no coronavirus, it's a conspiracy thing, it's a hoax. The thing is, is that people are probably going to be quarantined in their, uh, in their apartments and in their homes for 14 days or more. What that means is, Go out and get your supplies. I have been trying to tell people for not months, but years that this could be a possibility and it's happening. And this thing with the social, social isolation. Okay. Even if it is a hoax, why even take a chance that it's for real? Do you want to get people sick? I, I, I don't get it. People walking around, hanging out, um, being defiant, me, you know me, I'm Rebel Yell, right? Been my whole life. And this is one of the things you don't rebel against. You know, there's people's uh, uh, grandparents to think about. Um, there's little babies, infants, they don't have immune systems. You have to think about them. You know, not fair. They haven't even gotten a chance to live yet. Okay? You have to think about people like me. Love me, hate me, be indifferent to me, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of people that have, uh, that are going through cancer. There's a lot of people who are going through chemotherapy. There's a lot of people who have immuno, uh, problems. Uh, sometimes there's people who don't even talk about it. Could be your best friend, could be your lover, could be your husband, your wife. You know, some people, they feel funny about these things. They don't share. And yet you could be killing them. Okay, so let's not be selfish. You know, um, I try to be as uh, Christian as things about things as I possibly can be. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it, it gets to me just the sheer selfishness of people today. Um, you know, the first the first commandment is that you shall not uh, worship more than one God. There's only one God. And then the second commandment is no idols. Don't, don't have idols. Don't idolize anything. Don't idolize food, sports players. Don't idolize anything. You need to have a healthy love and fear of God. Okay. God makes everything happen. Trust me. Trust me. I should be dead. Really. If you knew my story, I am a miracle that I am sitting here today even making this video. That is how strongly I believe. It was so powerful. It has changed my life forever. And then the third one is to treat your neighbor as you would treat yourself. Now you really think about this. Would you want somebody walking around that might be infected, breathing on you, and then you end up taking it home and killing your poor grandmother. Think about it. It's not right. It's not cool. It's uh, it's evil. It's evil, and it's very selfish. So let's try to um, you know, if you don't want to believe in any of the commandments, just believe in that one. It'll 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 change. It's a game changer. Treat each other as you want treated yourself. I understand. I'm a big freedom fighter. I'm all about civil liberties, but at some point in time, 
you have to you have to really think you know not just outside the box but sometimes think inside the box you know there's other people in the world and this kind of this kind of really reckless behavior doesn't help anyone and it's not really proving anything and i know some people are not going to like what i'm saying and i really don't care you know that's just me and uh some people may appreciate it um but that's the that's the basic message you know i didn't come this far doing chemo going through surgeries and now having to postpone like you know neck surgeries you know maybe i might need more chemo and can't get it i didn't come this far for some some selfish idiot or any selfish idiot to kill me period you know i have faith in god but god says don't be a fool god will provide for you but don't be a fool so whoever's out there walking around unnecessarily thinking that they're funny or whatever or they're proving something you're a fool okay now god bless everyone everyone behave themselves treat everybody kindly and remember whether this is a hoax or not a government coup of the uh planet new world order whatever you have to think about yourself you have to think about your family you have to think about your friends and you have to think about your neighbor and really get good with god we don't know what's going to happen next and it's always good to be good with god okay love you guys and uh take care i'm resting i'm good i'm a little bit tired 12 rounds of chemo yeah it 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 it's cumulative and it will kick your butt but it's better than the alternative okay all right god bless